Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Boyfriend Dungeon. So to start, let's let's check the text, see who's messaging its mother. Oi, okay. Uh hmm. Alright. Uh I'm sure you can handle it, but maybe I can help. What's wrong with the boyfriend I mean? Um How do you know it's love? It's different for different people. Okay. Real helpful. All right. Uh, do we have? Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, we gotta go here, and I don't want to. No date. Wait, why do we have a love rank with our cousin? Huh. Anyway, wait. We're we getting a text. Is it from? It's you. Okay. Uh. Do they help make you into a better person? If so, maybe then, maybe keep them around. If not, move on. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, let's go see what's going on here. Uh, gosh. All right, hopefully this is Jesse, not Eric. All right, it is, okay, good. <clears throat> the weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. Oh, you look around. You don't see anyone. Over here. You spot Jesse hiding behind a car. You duck into a shadow and join him. Uh, this Shh. is ridiculous. He's coming out. You hear the shop door open and take a peek. You see Eric and his friend confer. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. <sighs> No. No. No killing. Come on, focus. I'm glad I double checked. Watch. Yes. Watch. Dan. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack Dan. No. 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 What about Oreos? Ugh. This is gonna work at all, is it? <laughs> I love. I love. Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. <clears throat> I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me, and I don't want you to hurt anyone. Lies. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Lies. Oh, that's so weird. Ugh. Ugh. Fine. Come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. The stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Masune? Inside. Now. <clears throat> Masume, mas, I'm probably butchering this. Uh, <laughs> Masume smiles widely at you, staring openly. Eric follows its gaze and his eyes widen. Dan? And Jesse? What are you doing here? Uh, hey Eric, we just uh, happened to be in the neighborhood. You made this thing? His name is Masume, but yes, he's been a work in progress. Aren't we all? Ugh. Don't make small talk, Jesse. He has some flaws in his design and some serious problems. <sighs> Don't we all? Stop encouraging him. Stop saying that. Now, as it happens, I could use your help. I put in a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him. But now I think it's time to deactivate Masume. How? Well, I don't think to put it in self-destruct button, if that's what you're asking. Mm. That was your first mistake. I always put one of those on in my Frankenstein monsters. Genius takes time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich here. Hmm... I knew there'd be kinks to work out in design, but I thought they'd be the sexy kind of kinks. Oh, God. He's so nauseating. <laughs> I'd hope it wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric pats the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. <laughs> so now you want us to kill it or him? <clears throat> Things attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> No. Ah. Uh, Ixnay on the ilk. 
Masume slashes at Eric, slicing open his arm and chest, exposing flesh beneath. Ah! Eric shrieks and faints as Masume melts into a nearby shadow. Jesse dials 911. Yes, there's an emergency. We need an ambulance. 542 Tybalt Lane. Uh, help staunch bleeding. Chase the monster. Uh, chase the monster. You take a single step after Masume and stop. Frozen. You remember you don't have a weapon. A frustrated curse comes to your lips, but you swallow it with a familiar feeling of helplessness. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. I give my weapon shot to you, Dan. Take good care of it. Remember uh. me. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop their dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll be dead any second. Then how will you feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me? A paradigmic... A Paramedic ushers him to the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. That katana creature is on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Why did Eric want to watch you anyway? And he's a stalker, Jesse. Uh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez, disturbing. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went way over the line. Keep yourself safe, okay? And I will too. Except the dunge, I guess. That's just work. Are you gonna be okay at home alone? I'm so sorry I introduced you to that guy. At least you have really good locks on the door. I paid top dollar. But I can come stay on the couch just in case if it'll help you sleep. Uh, no See need. Ya. All right then, talk to you later, cuz. You head home. All right, hopefully we're done with Eric. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat, thudding, urgent. You lock the door firmly and then double check and lock it again to be sure. Your head feels cloudy, foggy, with thoughts that leap ahead of you, faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. Why would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answers come to mind. Only questions. You putter around and waste time until the clock says you really, really should try to sleep. You lie down reluctantly, bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Eventually, you fall into a darkness of deep sleep. In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling on his phone. Huh. <clears throat> hey cuz, sorry, I let myself in. There's a bit of emergency. You might want to sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good. Um, so nobody's answering their phone. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. what about Seven? <coughs> are they dead? I wouldn't assume that immediately, no, but I guess I can't rule it out either. This is bad weird. What, what if Katana got all of them somehow? Jesse jumps at a knock on the door. Who is it? Uh... Don't worry, the lock will hold. I got a lifetime guarantee from the locksmith. Jesse looks through the people. Uh -huh. Oh, phew, it's just Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out, too. I'll be right back. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after him. Uh, look out the peephole. You see an empty stairwell. Weird. Where did Jesse go? You realize, despite all of your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone. Maybe forever. Uh, how do I fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away? or made yourself less likable. Wow, this is going deep. Okay. <clears throat> you left at the wrong times, you asked the wrong questions, you were too quiet or too loud. To fix it, you'd have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? Huh. You hear a hissing and jump to realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. There's uh, I can fix this. You grow in power and strength as you decide this fight worth having. A fight worth winning. <laughs> Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon friends. He melts into the darkness. You chase him for what feels like a long time until you're panting with exertion. You wake up with a trace of sweat beating on your back. Was that just a dream? Through a series of pinches, you determine that dream is over and you're really awake now. Probably. You, 
take a deep breath and feel a clarity thrill through you from scalp to fingertips. You take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. All right. Um, wow. That's a lot. Uh, can we craft anything right now? No, because we haven't been to the dunch. All right, let's head out, check our text. All right, let's see. Uh, we got mother, okay. Jesse. We're gonna do something about this monster on the loose, especially before you fly home. Gonna be the end of summer before you know it. Uh, no. I don't wanna go. I know, we gotta make the most of our time we have. I'll try to grill Eric. He's in the hospital. But that means he can't run away. I've been taking blacksmithing classes. Maybe I can use that. We'll let you know if I find anything out. Okay, where's... Where's Seven? Uh, see you in the dunge. Okay, so we gotta do the dunge to get a date with, um, with Seven. Can we shop? We have money now. Welcome. What do you have? Uh, you have... I wish I told you what effects they gave, if any. Uh, but that's alright. Let's just head to the dunge now. Uh, and see what kind of date we can get with... Seven. Uh, let's go to four seven. Dungeon Fear is still unidentified. I hmm. used to do open mics in places like this. Alright, I guess let's just go in here. Oh, that's a green laser. Wait a minute. That's new. Okay. Um, let's go down, because there's something on the map here. It's a date? Ugh. Ugh, these fancy drinks always look like an awful lot of effort. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. Uh, will you take my silver ring? He did. Thank you. I've been waiting. I've been wanting one of these. Little umbrellas or smoke or foam or, at the very least, so much ice shaking. Mm. Maybe it's because I don't really drink much, but I don't see the point. Um, there isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to waste time at bars. Win-win. We have way better things to do together. Anyway, like beat downs. Yes, we do. And there is a vault here. Uh, night helmet. Okay. Um, I guess let's try the left. More drinks. Yeah, those lasers are no longer red, they're green. So I'm guessing that means stronger enemies. getting steel now so better drops i guess oh my gosh go away all right looks like we're coming up to another vault oh my gosh just want the steel no Another vault. Uh, single malt scotch recipe. Okay. Should we go down these stairs? I mean, we're here, right? I wonder how deep this goes. Uh, four, eight. All right. Money, money, money. Nope. 
All right, looks like we can go down. Oh, secret vault. Uh, machine sign. Okay, I'll have to check that out. So I'm guessing then walls with cracks mean we can break those. So that's what we could keep an eye out for. What's this one? Uh, knight armor. Oh, we can do a whole little set. Maybe they have like set bonuses like Breath of the Wild. There you go. Uh, this takes us back around. Okay, so let's go right here. Oh, lots of lasers. Lots of lasers. Okay. Can we go? I guess we can't go over there, but it looks like there's a date spot there. Um, but let's finish this area off first. Alright, nothing special. That's another stage, which we've been to before. Yeah, we've done this already. So we've been on this floor. Um, so in my experience, hackers look like humans until they open their mouths. Or like those treasure chests that attack you, you know? Mimics. Uh. That kind of experience toughens you though. Yeah, we read that. Uh, I still knew I loved dancing and that was good at. It was reassuring in a way. Purpose and direction. Yeah, we know. Okay. Oh wait, is that why? Is that why the enemies are like stronger? Because we've already been on this floor before. Like green lasers instead of red. Okay. Did we go everywhere? We did. So I guess let's go down again. Four nine. Okay, yeah, this is where we left. Oh. Let's, uh, this looks breakable. Ooh, that's different. Uh, red, what's with the red roses? Huh. Uh, why don't we take a break? I don't need to take a break, but we can still take them. Uh, huh, these... Yeah, didn't we just do this? Hmm. Maybe it's because I don't want really to drink much, but I don't see the point. Uh, novelty? <laughs> Maybe I should be glad I don't care about novelty much. It seems expensive and tiring. We, bay were, we have way better things to do anyway, like beatdowns. Yes, we did do that. Okay. So it looks like there's something red on the map here. Oh, 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 oh. Money. Okay, that's where we came in. So <clears throat> let's go down here and get the bolts. Uh, vodka and spooky. Ooh, new powers. All right. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's go this way, because I see... Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we'll go back that way. Let's just grab all the goodies. Uh, but actually, it also looks like this loops around. Secrets? Okay. Oh, you followed. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Design recharge. All right, so 410. Wonder how many fours are in here. <clears throat> We're maxed out. We have a date invitation. Okay. Uh, if there's an elevator here, there's not. So let's get through the four. Oh. Oh my God. No. 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 Oh my God. Oh. I didn't even realize we were almost. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's all right. We leveled up at least. Loved up twice. Three times. Four? Four! I think that's the most we've leveled up in one run. Alright, let's head home and check our date situation. <clears throat> uh, actually, first, let's craft. Or, I think we need... Yeah, we need to craft designs first, so... Spooky. Oh, so maybe that's what we need the holy energy and the dark energy for. Fashion, fashion, spooky. All right, so let's see what that does first. That was the spooky. Scares most enemies. Okay. Uh, I think we'll hold off on that. Is there anything we can make here? Oh, we can make our night helmet. Anything else? Let's just go to all. Bowler hat. Alright, let's see what that does. If it does anything. Carry more beverages but fewer signs. Um, no, I like the double damage. I think we're good there. <clears throat> Alright, text. I'm at the hospital with BTW. Not that you care. My near death experience made me realize I have to come clean. What did you do? It's hard to know where to start. I stole parts of weapons, of people, to make Masume. A chip from a dagger, a pin from a laser saber, and so on. I'd fallen in love with each one, but they turned me away, all of them. After they rejected me, I felt like they took a part of me with them, so I took a part of them. I thought I'd reshape it into something new, something beautiful, but it it knew my heart better than I did, so it became a monster. And you became a stalker. Yeah, well, that's true, so deal with yourself. Uh Oh, I have a little present for you. You said you like the beach, so meet me there, maybe seven? Okay. See you soon. Heart emoji. Ooh. <clears throat> what do you want, Jesse? Okay. So I know you're leaving town soon, but I think I know how to defeat Eric's monster. Which beats it up you now that I've looked it up? Eric named that monster Masume is Ridic. Somewhere out there, there's a gorgeous Japanese man I'd call Masume. But this weirdo, I'm just gonna call him Katana. Anyway, here's the plan. You beat him up. Okay. I'm sorry. We have a date with Seven, so I can't be bothered right now. Capulet Beach. Ooh. Oh, like Romeo and Juliet. Verona. Capulet. Right? Uh, you find Seven strumming a guitar on the beach. He's very focused and hasn't noticed you. He picks a few chords here and there, trying out a few melodies. What? Eventually, he notices you. And startles. Hey. Sheesh. Way to spoil your present. I was hoping to surprise uh... you. I wrote you a song. Oh. It's probably terrible, so it's okay if you don't like it. Uh, let's hear it. <laughs> I just wanted to give you something small. Nobody else has heard it yet. It's called Dan in Verona. I'm more of a dancer than a singer, so there's no lyrics. Just my feelings, okay? Seven plays guitar carefully, avoiding looking at you as he plays. Uh, close your eyes. You focus on the music, letting everything else just fall away. 
We spend a peaceful moment together, joined by the music. Hey! hey! A voice yells out over the beach, interrupting your moment as the sun sets. You! Leave him alone! Ugh. How dare you, Dan? I trusted you. I picked cats with you. You, you, Yoko! What? Uh -uh. Don't give me that. You know what you did. Um... Lady, I don't know what you're talking about, but you have to calm down. <sighs> He broke up Blade Generation, the best band ever. The fan club knows everything. Her lower lip trembles and her eyes fill with tears. I do not have time for this, Olivia. It's the, all the fault of evil, evil Dan and his sexy wiles. Uh. Hold on now. You think I'm not capable of making my own decisions? That's insulting. Uh -uh. You're a pure, sweet boy. No mortal deserves you, especially that one. I need her to step off, madam. Olivia points at you accusingly. Um... Should I be mean? Uh, get a new yeah. hobby. Yeah, I'm sorry you're lonely, but you should find a healthier hobby, probably. I'm a person, you know. Not just a face and a name on a poster. But, but Sung Woo's gone back to Korea, and, and I just, I thought I could be the one. Uh... Love doesn't always work out that way, the way we think it will. Dan is my best friend. Oh, did we just get friend zoned? Nothing you say can change that. <laughs> Olivia's eyes leak and she starts making choking sounds. But you're you're still young. Lots of time left to make your mark. And cats love you. I don't care about dancing or even cats right now. And I don't need your advice. I'm just gonna go. Later. Take care. Yeah, bye. Olivia trudges off through the sand, eyes on the horizon. You both watch her go, wishing them the best of her. You blush through a seven staring into your eyes. Uh, I huh, guess. I guess the world is finding out oh. about Blade Generation and about us. Yeah. I thought it would make me have a panic attack to have a romance out in public. Instead, it makes me feel more relaxed. I want everyone to know how important you are. I think we made the right choice. I feel so lucky I have your support. And the adventures to come. When I met you, I was in a deep depression, consumed with envy and bitterness. Now, I have so much to look forward to. I have so much energy. It feels like a dream, one where you stepped in and made everything better. I love you. <gasps> oh! Oh! Do we say it back? I hope you like the song, but I did get you a little something physical too. Here. He gives you a small but heavy wooden box. You open it to find a quartz whetstone. <laughs> you can't really sharpen me, but it's a symbol of how much you mean to me. With a whetstone, you're a master wielder. You gain double love with all weapons unlimited by love rank. Ooh. Thank you again for everything you've done. This is just the beginning, I hope. But you'll have to put up with my fans. Olivia won't be the only one who's upset. Are you okay? We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah we will. Best friends take things as they come, together. And you can wield me when I'm feeling weak on my own. We'll be an unstoppable team. Are we maxed out? Uh, survivor, chain lightning damage is higher when you're low in health. Uh, burst. Chain lightning affects two extra enemies. Yeah, let's do burst. <clears throat> Seven smiles at you, fingers wandering over the guitar. It's getting chilly, and I think a new Chronosite episode just came out today. <laughs> you head home together and watch some so com shows comfortably together on the couch. When he leaves in the morning, his guitar stays behind, tucked under your bed. It seems you'll be together for a while. You've reached max love level with seven. So is that it? Oh, hey. Heart? Huh, you make me blush with the smallest thing. <clears throat> How am I supposed to stay cool with you being so cute just gotta practice definitely oh 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 no no don't care about you 
We want seven. Uh, as much as possible before you go home. Time goes by so quickly. See you soon, I hope. Oh. Yeah, I was obsessed with you. Every small kindness. I'm sorry, I really am. You don't know what it's like being unloved. Everyone loves you. You haven't been cast aside over and over and over. Uh, that's really not my fault. I'm sorry, it's not. Sorry, sorry again. That's whatever. I shouldn't make excuses. I don't deserve your pity. No, you don't. I'll figure out how to put things right somehow. Right, okay. <clears throat> so, can we craft? What do, what do we do now? I guess we have to finish this dungeon in La Rosa. <clears throat> we go see Rowan? Oh, we do have a date with Rowan. Oh, I don't know. I kind of feel like, like what's the end game here? It's interesting. Um, <clears throat> but I also think we still have some things unchecked here. So, hmm, lots to think about, but I think that's a good place to stop for today. Maybe next episode, We'll see what's going on with Rowan. Uh, maybe we'll go back from seven. Because um, I don't think we can go on any more dates. But maybe we'll do a dungeon first to kick it off. But thank you all for stopping by and hanging out for a little bit. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. And as always, I will see you all in the next video very, very soon. Bye!